I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss a technique or rather the steps to find point of intersection of two lines right so the question here is find the point of intersection between given lines L1 is R001 plus S1 minus 1 minus 3 where S belongs to real numbers and L2 is R210 plus T035 where T belongs to real numbers. So these are the two lines given to us. Uh, let me write the steps which we should be doing. First step is you need to write parametric equation, right? Parametric equations. So let's write parametric equations for both the lines. So for line one, we can write x equals to 0 plus, let me write 0, okay, 0 plus 1s, which is s, right, y equals to 0 plus is minus 1, so write minus s, and z equals to 1 and minus 3s, so we'll minus 3s, right. So that is for line 1. For line 2, we have x equals to 2, plus 0t, right? So there's nothing there. y equals to 1 plus 3t, okay, plus 3t, and z equals to 0 plus 5t, 5t. So that is how we can get the parametric equations. Now, once we are given the parametric equations, what we can do is that we can equate these two x's and find the value of s. Once we find the value of s, we can find value of t. So at this stage, what we will do is we'll use two equations. This is first set and this is the second set. That's the third set for us, right? So from 1 and 2, 1 and 2, solve for parameters. Okay. So we have x equals to s and x equals to 2, right? So if you relate these two, if you relate these two, which says x equals to s and we have x equals to 2. So we could write from here that substitute 2 here, we get 2 equals to s, right? So from here, we get the value of s. So let me call this equation as 3, okay? Now, if you see equation number 2, which is y equals to minus s, and also we have y equals to 1 plus 3t, right? So we could write this y as minus s here, so we can say minus s equals to 1 plus 3t. Since we know that s is 2, I can substitute 2 here, so I get minus 2 equals to 1 plus 3t. And now we can solve for t. So we'll bring this 1 here. So we get minus 2 minus 1 equals to 3t. Or t equals to minus 3 over 3. So we get t equals to minus 1. So we'll write this as our equation number. Well, this will be 4. There were 3 already. This is 5. So we get the value of s and t, right? So that these are the two different parameters. Now we'll check third equation. We'll check the third equation, whether these values work or not, right? So that is what we're going to check. Okay. So, so what we know here now is that S is equals to 2 and T is equals to minus 1, right? So these are the two values that you have just found. Now in the third equation, we'll find the value of Z. And if we get exactly the same value, in that case, we have a point of intersection since that point is common to both the lines, right? So let's calculate. So from the first one, we know z equals to 1 minus 3s, which should be 1 minus s is 2, 3 times 2, or 1 minus 6, and that gives us minus 5, correct? Let's also find the value of z from the second set from line 2. It says z equals to 
5 times t and so that is equals to 5 times minus 1 and that is indeed minus 5. So both values are same, right? So we get z value as exactly same. So that means there is a point of intersection since these parameters satisfy the condition, right? And now we can actually write point of intersection. So let me use this space to write down the point of intersection, the final answer, right? So we know that s is equal to 2 and t is equals to minus 1. We could use any set to find the values of the point since it is exactly same, right? So we'll use this one. So we have x as equals to, we'll substitute 2 here, is equals to 2, y is equals to minus 2, and z, we just calculated, it is minus 5. Is it okay? And therefore, we have point of intersection which is 2 minus 2 minus 5. So that is the answer for us, right? So I hope these steps help you to find point of intersection between any two given lines. So the first step should be write in parametric forms and then comparing each part, you can find the two parameters, substitute those values in the third and see if you get the same point, exactly same point for z. In that case, we do have a point of intersection. And if you get different values here, then that means the points do not intersect. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.